Welcome Wanderers to Whittle Walsh's Workshop. We're here on Whittle Walsh's Workshop. We'll whittle you what you want. Well Wanderers, it's been a long time since the last time I posted anything, but I've been uh, diligently working on the fresh water tanks here in the bus. Um, I've had about three attempts at it to um, all three times they've leaked. So this is the fourth and hopefully final attempt, but let me just show you what we got going on. All right, so here we go. I used red on this one just cause I was using up all my blue and it doesn't really matter cause it's gonna be underneath the bus, underneath the bent bunks I'm saying. Okay, so I've got the fill hooked up to the city inlet on my, um, whatever that thing's called, that little system that comes from the outside of the bus. And I use the actual gravity fill feed um, as my vent because I saw that that's what some guy on the YouTubes did and it made sense to me. So the only concern I'm having really is um, when I fill this up, right, my city water comes in, it's pressurized. It fills these tanks up really quick. Now this tank here is a 42 gallon tank, and this tank here is a 30 gallon tank. So I'm concerned that this tank's gonna fill up quicker, and then it's gonna backflow into my vent and out before this tank fills up. But I talked to some plumbers at work, and they said that um, it should follow the path of least resistance and fill them both up equally after this one's filled it just kind of backs up and fills this one but we'll see even if it does i'm not really sure maybe i could put some sort of flow restrictor on this one um or i could just do 60 60 gallons instead of you know 72 or whatever that math is math so hard anyway so uh there's the vent so i've got it vented here i've got my inlet here i've got this is a drain for the tank system uh, for the winter or whatever, if I wanna just drain my tanks. This is the thing that I've been struggling with to have um, leak. So I'm not really sure. Hopefully it doesn't leak this time, but I think I got it. I tried to use flex hose on this because I was afraid that, you know, with the vibration of the bus, all this rigid pipe would, would uh, crack, but I don't know. I, did, I couldn't get it, so I changed it over. So here's my vent for this one. Here's my infill for this one. There's my drain for this one. And here is my supply line for this one. And over here is my supply line for this one. So the supply comes out here. Again, underneath, you can't hardly see it. But under here, I've got a T. Okay. So it tees off this tank. And it tees off this tank. There's the T right there. And it goes through the wall and into the garage where the pump and the hot water tank and all that other stuff's going to be. Now, this one right here is my city water inlet. So, if we don't want to run off the tanks, I will just run this city water inlet in, hook a hose up to it if we're pulled up to some RV campground or something like that. So that one's a pretty straightforward thing. It just comes straight through. And again, it goes into the other side of this. And I will explain what we're gonna do in there. Um, a couple one-way valves and stuff like that when we get there. But right now, I'm just trying to uh, fill these tanks up and hopefully they don't leak. So I've got this capped off on the other side. My inlet, it's in, the, in here, it's all capped off. Everything's tight. I'm gonna hook a hose up to this and fill these up and see what happens. Stay hey tuned. Wanderers, here is the moment of truth. I've got the hose hooked up. I've got an ability to keep an eye on all the possible leak spots here. Up in there, I'm gonna head on into the garage and turn it on. Wish me luck. Right. It's turned on. Let's see what we got going on. I hear water flowing. It's leaking. Not yet. 
about this out uh, here. The one that I'm really concerned about is this T right down here. I had to kind of make some serious and weird angles on that in the crimp. So if that holds, I think we'll be pretty good. All right, I'm going to fill it up and we'll see what happens. Okay, Wanderers, so far so good. As you can see, we got the water levels right here and the water levels right here. They're filling up at the same rate. We'll see what happens when this one fills all the way up. Hopefully it doesn't spill back through that vent, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. See if the plumbers were right. But the good news is no leaks yet. So far so good. Okay, Wanderers, so far so good. As you can see, we got the water levels right here, and the water levels right here, they're filling up at the same rate. We'll see what happens when this one fills all the way up. Hopefully it doesn't spill back through that vent, but I don't know, we'll see what happens. See if the plumbers were right. But the good news is, no leaks yet. So far, so good. Okay. So it is coming out of there, but that is after. I mean, that's coming out of this vent right here, so I feel like it's gonna be fine. All right, so I just can't fill up to there. So that tank can be 100% full, and this tank can be almost 100% full, but I can't fill up to where that air vent hits or else we'll have this happening right here. But that's okay. I kind of figured that's what was gonna happen. So now we're gonna test the drain. So this right here is my drain system. I've got this set up so that I can hook a hose right up to it. So I'm gonna hook my, my fill hose up to it and I'm going to see if I can drain these tanks. I've got the hose that I used to fill it up with, which has still got a bunch of water in it, so hopefully it's primed enough to start sucking that out. I've got that hooked up to our drain, and on this, all I have is just a stopper valve, so I should just be able to open this up, boom, and this thing, in a perfect world, should start draining. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> oh ho ho ho, looky looky. It's draining. That's awesome. Hey, look, I'll just go water this plant over here. Nice. Things are working as they should. Looks like there's a little bit of drippage by the this connection right here, but that's fine. All right. It drained it down below that vent line too, so it stopped pouring out that vent. So I just gotta make sure when I fill these tanks up for the trips, that I stay a good one inch below that right there. That way it'll give it some room to slosh around and whatever. Got some gurgling going on. Perfect. I love it. Now I'm just going to have to kind of do some pipe management and secure some of this stuff so that it's not shaking around and uh, we can continue on with the build. Plumbing, this part of the plumbing is hopefully set. Alright, Wanderers, thanks for watching.